Okay guys, it took me a little bit to get this Najire to where I wanted her to be in order to do a showcase. I thought about doing an early showcase at like level 80 and she actually performed surprisingly well at level 80, but I was like, nah, if she can do this well at level 80, I gotta showcase what she can do at level 100 at board 13. And so that's what we're gonna do today. I can still get her to level 110. I'm just not quite there yet because I ran out of stars and I can't purchase the amount of pieces I need so I have to wait until I summon on the next banner to potentially have the stars to purchase the pieces I need to get this character to 110 but I do think as far as general pool characters go this Najire is kind of worth getting to level 110 but anyways today we are going to do some ultra arena matches I'm going to show off just how good she can be to you guys and I'm actually really excited I haven't been this excited for a general pool character showcase in a while so I truly do think she is that decent but just keep in mind we do have a collab banner coming up uh with the movie so you might not want to summon on her because who knows how good that character is going to be i guess we'll know you'll probably know at, at, at the time this video comes out by the time this video comes out we'll probably have the info on that banner we'll have to see but yeah i'm super excited to showcase this character so let's head over to ultra arena i do have a secret battle here we'll be taking on this secret battle but before we hop into that i do want to go over her kit and show you guys where i have her currently in progress so if you guys don't want to see the progress or you don't want to see uh, the kit or go over what the kit can do again feel free to skip this part of the video to where the first match starts if you guys just want to see that so right now i have her at level 100 as for her advanced leveling you can see where i have that at. i think i can actually maybe finish the speed right now so we can have the speed done there we go advanced leveling all the way completely done for najire and then if we go to the ability board this is the only slot I have left on the piece route. And I have, what is it, 40 pieces out of the 120. Like it takes a lot at this point. And then this is the basic route, board 13. And then here is the DX piece route. I can't go past right here because I would need another shard. I only pulled one extra copy of her, which was still hype. Don't get me wrong. Like that's super exciting within, what was it? Five multis to get two copies. Like that's crazy. That's so unheard of for me, that type of look. But I'm very, very happy with just getting two copies. Her plus ultra move is an attack all. This might be honestly, genuinely, I think this might be one of the strongest plus ultras in the game. Like it's very, very good. Najire Pike deals 500% damage to all opponents, decreases character's cooldown time by one for five turns and increases character skill impact by 30% for five turns. This skill gains piercing shots if there are any mind type opponents and it does pierce all opponents as long as there's any mind type opponents on the team is what I found in my testing. Increases this skill's skill impact by 30% if character has less than five temporary skill up effects. And then her first action skill, Najire Wave, is another AoE that does 300% damage to all opponents and decreases their speed by 25% for 3 turns and defense by 20% for 3 turns. This skill gains piercing shots if there are any mind type opponents, increases this skill's skill impact by 40% if character has less than 5 temporary skill impact up effects. This is a very good skill. Like Normally I feel like the speed reduction on an action skill is not the greatest, but I feel like in many cases I have gone twice like been second to go in the first turn and then this next very next turn I have the advantage okay so like it's crazy even when Kaminari doesn't stun anybody if Najire does this AoE that does 25% down to them all opponents it's it's actually really good like it's so good and then her second action skill, Power Wave, deals 400% damage to a single opponent, increases character skill impact by 40% for 5 turns, increases character's plus ultra gauge by 20% when using a second or later successfully executed skill chain. This skill gains piercing shot if character has 4 or more temporary skill impact up effects. And that plus ultra gauge raised by 20% is very nice, and more skill impact by 40% for 5 turns. The skill impact on this character just keeps stacking and stacking, it's actually insane. The first auto skill is called overflowing vitality increases characters resistances to stun and binding which is op that's been really really good for taking on compress and celebration ochako when character receives cooldown time reduction one time increases character skill impact by 20 percent for three turns and speed by 20 percent for three turns and she gets cooldown reduction quite a bit so uh it's 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 good it's very good and then auto skill 
Two, abounding with ambition increases character's resistance to paralysis and reduces damage character receives by 20% for five turns up to one time. Every three turns increases character speed by another 30% for two turns and skill impact by 30% for two turns. So that's just a lot of skill impact up. And to give you guys an idea of how good this character is, I have been going against 500,000 or higher battle power teams and I have not had any EX auto skills on her. And so we're gonna roll those right now and see if we can make her a little bit stronger i'll probably just go with whatever it gives me for this first one it's not going to be the greatest i mean power is not bad but like it, i'll definitely need to re-roll that later but for right now we just need to put something on there right so that way she has something on there and we're showing her like at pretty much max potential actually this looks pretty good reduces normal attack damage to character by 15 percent for three turns reduces action skill damage and character's hp is restored by 15 percent of damage dealt for three turns that's actually not bad they're both relatively low BPs, but like the effects at least aren't like really bad. I think they're generally okay effects to get right there for the EX auto skills. So with all of that gone over and said, we're at 476,000 total battle power for our team. I really like this team setup right here. I really like having Kaminari and Najire together specifically. Let's go ahead and hop in to this secret battle and see how it goes. I am going to have to take it off auto because I typically I've been running this team just for fun to try it out and I've been able to just do it on auto against like virtually every team. Like I haven't had to think at all. It's actually crazy how good this has been. So we want to do this. We want to buff Najiri's critical hit rate. Then we are going to do this to decrease their speed and defense and then Kaminari gets to go after their defense has been reduced and just be a menace, right? And hopefully we get some uh, paralysis on them as well. And we do have some steampunk and celebration characters we're taking on here. So this is a good match to be taking on. Now the question is, who do I want to go after? Do I want to go after Deku? Do I want to go after Bakugo? I think I'm going to try this Deku. I think that's who I want to go after. And that is a yellow character. So we do have Pierce on our skill action skill one. And we will also have Pierce on our plus ultra, which is going to go crazy. It's fine that they had a lot of defense. It's fine that they survived that because we are literally about to pop off. It's going to be actually really good. That was a lot of damage, but it's okay. Here comes the plus ultra. See how fast she is though. She's actually pretty fast. Good AOE. She gets some damage restored from that. Remember because the EX auto skill we had on her, which is nice. That Deku is dead. Beautiful. And we should get a paralysis here, hopefully. Nope. He oh, yeah, we got it. I thought he resisted it there. Okay, and Najiri is almost back up to full, so, like, she's actually fine. Uh, we go like this, and we go like this. Let's see how much damage we can do. Okay, yep. These two together is actually insanely good. It sucks that Kaminari missed on uh, foe 100% there, though. Uh, let's see if we can get... We need to kill foe 100% as quickly as possible because we don't want him like stacking his stuff right that'd be the worst thing to where he gets to five fudge in because then he just becomes unkillable and that would be incredibly annoying all right now we got all of our plus ultras here bakugo is not before us which is great okay i think we're actually looking to be in a decent place hopefully najiri doesn't get hit too hard here by steampunk Deku. we'll see yeah we're okay all right, how much does this do? The later you get in battle, the more it does. Oh my gosh. That's nuts, man. She just wiped him. Oof. That's so good. It's such a good combo right here. The paralysis from Kaminari is super annoying. The defense down from Najire and the AoEs is freaking broken, right? Like, it's just a really good team. And she fits so well on it. Normally, I run like Celebration Bakugo in her spot, and he's good for his own reasons, like for the uh, buff block and stuff like that. But I think Najiri is still very good because of her Pierce, as long as they have a yellow enemy on the team. 442,000 battle power for that team. They did have a UR plus <laughs> Steampunk Deku who just never got to go, though. Uh, look at the damage, though. Look at the damage. Najire just absolutely carrying. I feel like a lot of times Kaminari and Najire will be on like equal footing, but Kaminari is UR plus, guys, and he didn't even come close to touching Najire's damage right there. Like, that's how good she is. She's so good. Uh, I see a decent 
team right here. I feel like, yeah, let's take this one on. We'll, we'll try to find like relatively harder teams as we go. We'll see if we can find one over 500,000, right? And take on that 500,000 battle power team. And I feel like that will be a good challenge for us. I do think we're gonna be okay on this one because they are gonna have a ton of defense and whatnot. So we should be able to kill relatively easily. We're going to buff Najeri like we did last time. It's basically gonna be the same thing every time. Like I don't have, you really don't have to think too much with this team. Big paralysis on Najire. That's so unlucky for them. So that messes up their skill chain, even though she got out of that, right? So that means they're not going to have their plus ultras on the same turns. Like, yeah, Yurosu has her plus ultra right now. That kind of sucks for them, but it's okay. Let's hope we get another paralysis here. Or dead. Okay, big, big. Uh, who's she going to plus ultra? She went after Kaminari. That's fine. That's so fine. Kaminari restores health, so we're good on that. And now we'll use all of our plus ultras. I am going to slow it down this time so we can watch Ninjiri's plus ultra through. A little bit of healing, then the AoE from Summer Ninjiri. And don't get me wrong, Summer Ninjiri is very good still. I think, like, these two are on par, but for different reasons. Summer Ninjiri is really good for healing. Short hair Ninjiri is really good for damage output. Like, insanely good. That plus ultra so it's so good the ending is great look at that fifty-one thousand without a crit oh my gosh and it's an aoe like anywhere between 40 to 50 without a crit right there that was insane that was actually insane all right and she should die here with kaminari's attack uh okay she'll die with the normal whatever that's fine okay now we have to kill bakugo i guess i'm really not too worried about uraraka because she has like a one turn stun at the most, right? So not a big deal. Speed down. Oh, and the defense down. Look how much we did to Bakugo in one turn with AoEs. These are AoE attacks, not focused attacks. And he's in the red, that's pretty good. If I had this Nigeria 130, I, I feel like she would just be clapping people. Bakugo's dead. She's paralyzed, and this team is just so annoying. It's so broken. Oh, Kaminari's almost dead. Woo! They almost got Kaminari there. All right, we do all of our plus ultras here. No way Toga kills. Yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, how much does this do? Oh! Oh, it's so much damage! Oh my gosh! Yo, I just, I still can't believe it when I see those numbers pop up for an AoE attack with no repercussions. Like, that's crazy. Oh my gosh. And the multi-hit attacks on every skill is just, it's so good. It's so good, guys. Oh my gosh. Najere is, she's, she, for a general pool unit, she is insane. Like, I, I can't even speak. Like, whew. She speaks for herself, guys. Honestly. Battle log, let's see. Details. <laughs> Oh boy, it's not even close damage wise. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I never thought I'd see a general pool character that looked so dang good. Like, that's really nice. I need to find a team over 500,000 here to end us off that has like celebration and or steampunk characters. Like I don't want, obviously there's a 530,000 right there, but that's not, not gonna be a challenge because their kits, those characters kits are not very good. We need a 500,000 battle power team. Somebody that is going to give us a challenge. So give me a second to find that team and then we'll hop into that match. All right, this is about the best I could find, but like, honestly, uh, yo, three yellow characters, we're gonna absolutely freaking destroy them. And that's what I wanna see. I'm here for it because we get the pierce whenever we take on a mind type enemy. So like, <laughs> Najire is this team's worst, absolute worst nightmare. Like, holy moly. But yeah, we got Celebration. And we also have one fantasy character in there. I don't know why Kirishima there, but why not? I mean, I guess it works, right? So let's go ahead and hop in. They have 525,000 battle power. We have 480,000 battle power. So a pretty decent difference in battle power there. And I think we're still going to win with relative ease simply because Najiri is on our team. Like, she's going to be that good against this team. It's going to be nuts. Uh, we're going to like this. Like, him drawing aggro doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we have the AoEs. Hey, 
and the paralysis on top of it. Oh my, yeah, they're done. They're so cooked. They're cooked. Oh my gosh. Multi hit attack. Another paralysis. No, okay, we didn't get the second one. The big damage is yet to come. The big damage is about to happen right here on this turn. Uh, if he barriers, it's not gonna matter. Yo, it's not gonna matter because Nigeria is gonna actually just go through the barriers. It's gonna be okay. Let's go. Let's go. I can't wait. Oh, he didn't even barrier. We're good. Okay, that's fine. Seventy to seven thousand on turn three on an AOE. Yo, oh my gosh. Dude, this team is too good. It's too good. I'm telling you guys, like, oh man, for a general pool unit, I've never been so impressed. Oh, and it's done. It's, <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate for them getting paralyzed like that. It's done. I want some real time PVP for this game. That would be amazing. If we can have this and I can fight other people with my team, I would have so much fun. Like, Black Clover Mobile just recently transitioned to real-time PvP, and honestly, I enjoy the real-time PvP so much more on Black Clover Mobile, other than the few, like, bugs with it. But, like, I enjoy that a lot more than just taking on the bots, and I think something like that would work here on My Hero Ultra Impact. I don't know if they'd ever do it, but, like, I never thought I wanted it. I, I honestly never was an advocate for real-time PvP until I saw Black Clover, like, transition into it. And now I'm like, you know what, it'd actually be kind of cool to see. It'd be kind of cool to see in this game, but I don't know how it'd work. I don't know if it'd be fair. There'd be a lot of things to take into account when transitioning, right? So I don't know. They would probably never do that anyways because they can't even give us new content right now, but that's just, uh, that, that's a dream of mine, something cool that I'd like to see. I don't know if it's something that would work out, but it'd just be something cool to see. Like give me a new way to test my teams and test how good my characters are built and whatnot. That's mainly what I want. Just new ways to test my characters out. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought of Najire down in the comments. I think she is absolutely insane as far as general pool units go. Let me know if you think she has any shortcomings and also let me know what you guys think about real-time PvP. Like, obviously, it'll never happen. That's that's just a dream, right? I don't think it's going to happen. I want to be very clear. Uh, and I know some people don't necessarily want it. I was a big, like, advocate of, like, not needing it for a long time. But things have just gotten, like, to the point where, like, give us something, right? So <laughs> that's kind of how I'm feeling about it. But, yeah, let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments as well. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Peace.